In this video we're going to have a look at glued rigs, the components we use to make them and how we make them. Um, but before we get started I want to let you know when I use glued rigs and when I don't. Gluing is something that's newish. Admittedly the guys who have been doing it for ages will argue me on that one, but newish to beach fishing in the UK. Um, it's not the answer to every rig certainly has no use for pulley panels, um, clip down rigs especially, I don't use glue and clip down rigs, I like to be, be able to adjust the swivel up and down the rig body to, to get everything right. Um, but flappers, which as everyone who knows me makes up 99.9% .9 of all my rigs, um, it's a godsend. It's neat, it's tidy, it's cheaper than crimps, usually cheaper than stop knots as well, um, if you're using power gum and things like that, um, and it's just so much easier to do. Tying dozens and dozens of stop knots day after day used to drive me mad. Um, so gluing makes life a lot easier. Let's have a look at the components to start with. Your rig body material. Um, I use the suffix zippy. Um, you can use whichever material you like really. As long as it's a, a monofilament, try to avoid gluing fluorocarbon. It doesn't glue as well. You won't get as strong as an adhesion. Um, again, I know there'll be people out there who will argue that fact with me, but if you're getting into glue rigs, stick with the monofilament. My choice, suffix zippy. I use the 050 for my sort of general, um, sort of scratchy rigs, that sort of thing. I'll go up to the 060 if I'm on heavier lead, sort of, you know, 175s, 190s, that sort of thing. Um, but the 050 is what I use a lot of. Glue wise, um, again, there's plenty of choice out in the market today. Um, I like the Electronics Pro Glue. I find it's good, it's strong, it's reliable, sets quickly. Uh, and I use, obviously, our glue tubing. Another, I'll show you. I'll show you two ways of doing it today. Actually, I'm going to show you the glue tubing way, um, which gives you a stronger um, adhesion and a stronger rig. Um, but I'm also going to show you the just the gluing the beads way, um, which I tend to use for a lot, for most of my lighter rigs and that sort of thing. It's not as strong, but it's infinitely quicker to make because there's six less things to thread on your rig every time. So what we're going to make here is a simple three hook flapper, a two up, one down. Now I've started off with my, my 050 zippy, I've tied a karmic hanging snap on the top of my rig body, the size ones. I've cut off six foot and a, and a bit of line and down the bottom I've attached a, one of our C-Match Essentials lead links. In the middle part, I have threaded on three lots of tubing, bead, swivel, bead, tubing, as we can see there. So the same as you would do with crimp rigs, just we've got bits of tubing rather than, uh, rather than a crimp. Using the Stompho line rest, it's easy on two up, one downs. All you need to do is get the top swivel, which is going to be the swivel that's going to form the top of the rig. Push it into your into your rig jig like this. So you've got the, the clip at the top there and there. Go all the way to the other end of the rig and do the same with your bottom snood. So the, that's the swivels that's going to form the bottom snood. Push that in the other side. Like so. So I now have on my rig jig, I don't know where you can see that, the top and bottom snoods. Now simply running my fingers all the way to the middle of those two bits of line will give me the centre of my rig. That's going to form my middle snood. So once you've got hold of your centre view rig like that, pop it on the middle part of your rig jig. Like so. So now we have all three on our rig jig. So like I say, if you do the top and the bottom first, work your way to the middle, find that middle snood. There's no need for tape measures and measuring and that sort of thing. It's very quick and easy. What I'm now going to do is position everything in the middle 
nice and rigid like that, so everything's tied together. Get your glue. Here's a top tip. Unscrew, unscrew, <laughs> drill out the centre of a large rig winder. There's a glue holder. That stops it falling over, spilling. We've all spilled glue. Get some chopsticks. Just your simple wooden chopstick. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply a small amount of glue onto the line. Try and do this nice and slowly. So I've dipped my chopstick into the into the glue. I'm just going to very lightly dab a little blob. That's all you need, tiny little bit there. And then I'm just going to offer that tubing up to the glue, like so. Now what you'll see is with the glue, as you sort of push it on, you'll see the glue get drawn into the tubing by capillary action. Once you're happy that there's no air bubble left in the tubing, that's that done. And then move everything back and do the other side. So a little tiny blob, like so. And offer that tubing up to the glue. And again, that just sort of sucks in. So I'm going to put poking into that. There you go. And that's that one done. I'll do the other two a little bit quicker. So blobs of glue, blobs of glue everywhere. Slide tubing up to glue. Like so. There we go. And that's that done. Put that down there. What I normally do when I'm making lots of rigs is I'll have two or three of my rig jigs on the go, or line rests, sorry they're called. And by the time you've got your other rig body out, you've set it up on your line rest, you've glued it up, the one that you've just done has set so you can take it off, wrap it around a winder, and then you can repeat the process over and over again. If you've only got the one line rest, Obviously, you have to wait for it to set each time. So this one is going to be just the beads. So there's no tubing on this one. What I use is our Seamash Essentials glass micro beads, the larger size. This is the 1.5 by 2.25 size. Again, I'm going to repeat the process we did with the other rig. So top rig, top snood, sorry. In my rig jig. Bottom snood, in the line rest, find the centre, just there. There we go, all three on. So again, let's put everything in the middle. Get a cocktail stick, a little blob of glue either side, and push the bead up to the glue. And again, the, the glue just sucks straight into the bead there. A little bit quicker and easier with the um, with the bead. But like I said, the tubing does give a stronger fix. So, as with everything in fishing, horses for horses. Pros and cons do everything. So bead, glue, bead, glue, bead, glue. Job done. That's it. Put them down there. And this one we just did is ready to come off. There we have nice, neat and tidy Pataloster. Thank you.